Hi everyone, welcome to this video of Roles and Privileges in IICS. I am Nitin Sharma from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, I am going to cover the available roles and relative privileges in IICS. I will also cover how custom roles can be created in IICS. So what exactly the role is? A role is a collection of privileges that you can assign to users and groups. Through roles, we assure that a specific user either can do a development activity or monitor activity or can play an admin role in the organization. To ensure that every user can access assets and perform tasks in organization, assign at least one role to each user or a user group to which user belongs to. This activity can be done by the administrator user. Hence, administrator user can configure and assign roles for the organization. In Informatica, we have two types of roles, system defined role and custom role. System defined roles are predefined roles that define access privileges for the services that organization uses. User cannot edit or delete the system defined roles in IACS. Custom roles are roles that are created by the user to set privileges individually. It requires appropriate license. These roles can be edited and deleted by the users. To verify how we can uh, validate the roles in IACS, users need to log into the IACS portal. Once they log into the IACS portal, they'll see the screen as mentioned. In this screen, user need to click on the administrator tab right hand side. Once they will click on the administrator tab, they can see the left hand side navigator where they need to click on the user tab, users tab. Here I could see the user available as NS underscore Nitin. When I'll click on this user, I'll be able to see the complete details about NS underscore Nitin. In right hand side bottom part, I can see the roles available for this user where it has been marked for admin, data integration, data viewer, executor, deployer, and designer. So I can say this user can play a role of these many uh, users as an admin deployer, designer, executor, and previewer. So if I would like to check the role details, I need to just click on the left hand side user roles where I can see complete details about the roles like admin, deployer, designer, and many more which are available here as a system defined role or a custom role for the users. So here I have taken an example of admin role. So when I clicked on the admin role, I can see there are many asset, type, asset types on which permissions and privileges are assigned to particular role. So we can say we have create, read, update, delete, run privileges and permissions which we are indirectly assigning to a particular user with help of this admin role. So NS underscore Nitin can play or can utilize the Azure data sync task, mapping, mapping task, maplet, map mass ingestion task, etc. when we are using it. So we now will cover how we can create a custom, custom uh, role in IICS. So here we need to just come to the user role, left hand side navigator. We need to click on add role, which is right hand side on top. Once we'll click on the add role, we'll get this screen where we need to provide the role name, description, and service as a data integration. Here we can assign our read, write, and uh, update, delete permissions on the specific feature which we'd like to assign to this particular role. Once we'll click on save, this role will be available and this role can be assigned to a specific user. For more details on role, you can follow below document, which is a help document uh, link that will be having more details. For license specific to custom and custom role, you can follow the following KB article, which will help to get details. Please feel free to reach us through following link and we will be glad to help you. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.